virus. I've got a virus on my computer. That is ridiculous. Hey y'all, I'm having a little computer trouble this morning. My computer is doing some weird stuff. I think it got a virus or something. I I downloaded a game Sunday for my stepdaughter and I think it had some kind of virus in it. I guess something's going on. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to y'all about math and how we do math at our homeschool. Lots of different ways you can do math. Um, some people do the Saxon math, math you see. There's a lot of good programs um, for math, especially if you're not very good at math like me. I suck at math, just not a math person. Um, hang on. Cancel that. Go away. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, my daughter is was pre-K last year, so we didn't really do a whole lot of math other than math worksheets. She loves them. And you can get these, I put them all in a binder with the, um, the page protector thingy so she can use them over and over. You can get any of these, uh, you can just buy a little math worksheet book at your bookstore or you can get it at Walmart or any of those places uh, to, buy, to, to get the worksheets. It's really cheap. You can even download some worksheets online for free. So anyway, she'll do the worksheets. She loves doing the math worksheets. There's still little kindergarten math worksheets. Also, <clears throat> for my older uh, child, who is not homeschooled, but he has trouble with math. He's in public school. He has a little trouble with math. We got, uh, we got these books for everybody, but it's for him and for, I swear, this computer. <laughs> we got this for him to help him with his math. It's called Life of Fred. And I've talked about Life of Fred before, but it's really, really cool. It's the story of a little boy named Fred, and it has the questions in the back, and it's really, really good. It goes all the way through. These are This is the beginning series, elementary series. They have intermediate series. They have high school math, college math, and some other extra books. Not just math, but they've got language arts, too. But anyway, love Life of Fred. Really helps my son. And I'm sure it'll help my daughter, too, when she gets older. Okay, so another thing we do for my two-year-old, who is just learning to scribble. I mean, he's just, you know, he's learning his little shapes and colors and numbers and stuff. This is his work from yesterday. <laughs> but he's seeing the numbers. He, he will go to numbers. He's a number, number boy. But, you know, just simple. These are from Alpha Omega. This came in the Horizons uh, uh, book for pre-K. So anyway, got shapes and colors and numbers, and these are also with page protectors on them to reuse over and over every year. And you can pull some of them out if you don't mind them drawing on them. I just like to use them, <clears throat> I just like to put the page protector on so we can reuse it because, you know, this stuff starts to get expensive and add up over time. Another thing we, excuse me, another thing we use for math, my daughter loves these. Got this at Toys R Us. Hot Dots. Love Hot Dots. Hot Dots, this is the kindergarten math. She's already gone through both of these books. She loves them so much. And um, so you have your little book. And this is, what's his little name? I forgot his name. Ace. His name is Ace. You get, you get a little pin that looks like this. And you turn him on. And if you get, they have to work the problem. And so if they hit the right answer, his face lights up green. If he gets the wrong answer, it tells you. I don't know how it does that. That's crazy to me. But anyway, hot dots. Love, love hot dots. And they even have, uh, they have this pack you can get. It's, it comes with two books and then the little pen. That's your starter kit right here. And then at the teacher supply store uh, last uh, fall, they were having a sale and you can get extra cards for it. So... That's pretty cool. She's going to start learning to tell time this year. So, we got that. But anyway, I just wanted to go over that, how we do math. Um, pretty simple right now because they're so little. Um, maybe later on I will look into uh, maybe an online math program, like an online math tutor or something because I just don't do <laughs> I just don't do math. Um, uh, but anyway, that's what we do. And I think they're doing a great job. And I'm, there, I'm not pushing them too hard because they are so little. Um, with my son, it's just about repeat, repeat, repeat. He's still learning his times tables and just 
what we do with him is something called ping pong math and I don't have it here to show you because I sent it uh, with him to his dad's but it, you get a um, just a plastic container from the dollar store you get a pack of ping pong balls little white plastic ping pong balls and you take and you write a number all the numbers on ping pong balls and just you know mix them up right use different color markers and things like that and you put them in a box and he draws one number and I draw one number and we put them together and he has to multiply and so he's learning how to um, memorize his multiplication tables there's just so many things that you can do to help your kids with math I'm still learning I'm looking for manipulatives all the time here comes my little one but anyway thanks y'all and I will talk to you in the next video thanks bye